Now I want to talk to you about underwater viewers. Uh, this is really good for people who can't wear a face mask uh, because they wear glasses or they don't want to put their head underwater. Now these things that I'm going to show you like don't work 100% but they're pretty good. They're really good like if you're in a kayak you can kind of like look over the side of the kayak and put it up to your eye and see what's going on underneath. So let me show you what I'm talking about and I'll, we'll do a quick demonstration down at the river in a few minutes. Okay, this is what I've made up. I basically have two different sizes. Uh, this is a big one I have. And all it is, is just a piece of plastic pipe. I'm not even sure where this came from. It's just something junk I had laying around. And a piece of plexiglass or other type of hard, clear plastic. So that's basically all it is, is a tube. What I did is I cut a piece of plexiglass about the size of the tube. I attached it using this which is just goop and then trim the edges a little bit you can see where the goop is on the edges right there so you just want to make it watertight here's a smaller one I made that I carry in my kayak sometimes and it's just a piece of uh, I don't know it's about what two inch PVC inch and a half something like that and with a little piece of plexiglass on the end but what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to look down inside it like that and hopefully be able to see stuff in the river Let's go down the river and I'll show you how this works. And here we are at the river. Uh, this is pretty close to my house and it's actually a good spot to show you how to use one of these things. Because you notice the current is kind of swift. So you can't really see underwater very well, although the water is really clear this time of year. I'll just give you a little history lesson. This is dam number four on the Potomac River. And uh, it's just uh, downstream from my house. The land over here is actually park service, so you can't go detecting on that or anything like that. But this is a really good place to demonstrate how one of these things work. So, let's get to it. If you look, you can tell that the water is fairly clear, but you can't really see the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take this quarter and just drop it, and uh, we'll check it out. Whee! Let's take a look at this thing. I mean, if you look down right now, I can't even see it. Watch what happens when I use this thing. See how clear that is? Isn't that cool? Ah, oh, there it is. It's kind of on its side now. See down in there? Isn't that neat? Now the one thing you really have to watch out for with this is that uh, you have to stick your head down like in the pipe almost because you notice you can see all those reflections from the sky behind me makes it really hard to see sometimes, although this isn't too bad. But yeah, you can see it just as clear as can be right there. Alright, that's what it looks like when you have the viewer. There's the quarter right there. As clear as can be. I mean, it looks a lot better not looking through the camera, of course. But uh, yeah, you can see the bottom. Is anything else of interest in here? Look at that, there's a spoon. I didn't notice that before, but you know, if that was treasure, that'd be pretty cool. You can even go over, you know, like in the foam and look around. So if you lost a ring or something, you knew something was here, look at that, right through it. Neato, huh? Let's try the little one. This is going to be much harder to focus, I think, with the camera's going to have a little more trouble with it, but we'll try it. Yeah, you can see, I mean, it's a little wiggly because I have to hold it with one hand. I don't know if I can find that cord. I don't even remember where I dropped it now. But you can go behind the rocks, look for stuff that might have washed in back there. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it. This is the little underwater viewer. It works great. Um, I mean, it's better if you can go under with a mask and a snorkel and stuff like I normally do. But on a day like today where it's like in the 50s, it's pretty chilly. I mean, you could grab this thing, go down the river and poke around. You might be able to find something to eat. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. And if you have any questions about how to make it, just drop me a line. So let's look through the viewer. And I think you'll be amazed at how easy you can see this thing now. I'm going to have to brace it on my legs because, well, just went over my boot. Oh, no. 
That wasn't very smart. I can't stand up. It's so slippery down here. Okay, let's try it again.